Okay, hello everybody. Today we're here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Cessna Skyhawk C172. We have a 52 nautical mile flight from 31 Echo Eagle's Nest to 3 November 6 Old Bridge. Both of those are freeware airports available from flightsim.to and they are amazing. Wait until you see the detail and the animations that are in Old Bridge. It is a work of art. Should be an awesome flight, so let's hop into the pilot seat and get started. Welcome to planet Earth. But we should probably get a little bit closer, so let's zoom down to New Jersey. And from there, we will depart from Eagle's Nest. It's an untowered field, and it's actually very close to restricted airspace, so we are going to need to watch where we fly on departure. We've got a 52 nautical mile flight heading north and then west, which will take us to Old Bridge. Both of these fields are freeware airports, and they are amazing, so let's take a moment and just check them out in all their glory. <laughs> How about those dragsters and go-karts, see? They were amazing. So let's start by getting our parking brake set. We'll make sure that our trim is set to take off. We'll head down here and get our fuel shutoff valve in. We'll rotate the fuel selector through each position and then back to center. That all looks good. So we'll head up here and we will turn on our battery and alternator, turn on the beacon. We'll check our fuel quantity left and right. We've got half a tank in both tanks. That's adequate for 52 miles. Next, we'll head over here and crack the throttle. Then we'll call clear prop. Now we'll turn on the fuel pump. We'll get the mixture into full rich until the fuel flow peaks. Then we'll pull the mixture back to idle cutoff and turn off the fuel pump. We'll crack the mixture a little bit here and head over to the magnetos. And we've got ignition start. Bring the mixture back into full rich. Our oil pressure looks good. We've got oil pressure. So we can bring the throttle up to about 800 RPM. Everything looks good on the panel here. So next we'll go down to the mixture and we'll lean it uh, for ground ops and taxi. There we go. Time to turn on avionics bus one and bus two. This will also turn on the intercom and enable our headsets so we can put our headsets on now. As the garments get booted up, I'll open up for flight and take you through the flight brief. So we are flying 52 nautical miles northeast at first, and then we will head west to Old Bridge. If we zoom in on our departure field, we are departing from 31 Echo, which is Eagle's Nest, and it is just outside of restricted space. So we don't want to go into restricted space. Those double black lines just west of the airport are the Garden State Parkway, and that is outside of restricted space. So as long as we stay east of the Garden State Parkway, we are good and we won't wander into their space. So we're basically going to fall at north. We will overfly a couple of airports, including Lakewood and Monmouth. Shortly after we get to Monmouth, we'll come to an intersection. You could see it drawn here on the map. And that's when we're going to fly west directly to Old Bridge. 
The Skyhawks at my flight school are older models that do not have heading bugs, but this one in the sim does, so let's use it. It is a luxury, and I will dial it in to 030, our initial flight heading. All right, we are clear on our left and on our right and straight ahead. So we'll start taxiing. The uh, taxiway is actually on the other side of the runway, so our choice is either to back taxi all the way down the runway to 32 and turn around and take off in 32, or we can cross 32 and then use the taxiway on the other side. So I'm going to go with that. This windsock disagrees with the other ones. It seems to be a common trait for and some airports out, where so all the windsocks seem to have a different opinion. Copy, uh, but this one looks good. Possible, okay, if you watch uh, the RPM gauge, you can see the drop we'll as I turn it to mag left, and then we will turn it back to both, and you'll see it come back up. Eagles Nest Traffic, Skyhawk 5207 Quebec, departing runway 32, straight out departure to the north at 3500 Eagles Nest. Okay, as we are getting underway, I'll give you a quick update on my real life flight lessons. So my last lesson was more night landings. We departed, went to the practice area, and then headed over to the nearby towered field and did some night landings there. And it was surreal. It had snowed here recently, which actually helped with visibility because you could see the snow patches on the ground even at night. It was, you know, a week or two after Christmas, so Christmas lights were still everywhere, and the towered field had some jet traffic to extend our downwind on for spacing, so we got sent all the way to the city just after Christmas and everything's lit up. It was just glowing in colors. It's hard to describe what it looked like from the air at night. My next flight is scheduled for this Monday and is a 100 nautical mile night cross country. But let's get back to our virtual flight. Looks like we are on track, so let's sit back and enjoy that awesome flight simulator scenery. If you pull up Google Earth, you'll see that the real-life tree height at the end of the approach end of the runway is a bit more welcoming, and you don't need to do as dramatic of a drop-in as we did there. However, we survived, and we didn't bounce, so not too bad. So I hope you enjoy content like this. If you do, be sure to click that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, as always, for flying along with me, and stay tuned for further flight adventures.